Astro Blaster. It's a tough video game and in the arcades it would steal all your 10 P's because when you run out of fuel that's game over. When I got hold of a speech chip for my BBC Micro, I just had to write Astro Blaster. To draw all the enemy at 50 frames a second without flicker, I actually hardware scroll the whole screen and then move the player's ship so that it stays still. The player's shot and the enemy bombs also have to move in the opposite direction of the aliens to stay still plus their own movement. that docking with the mothership was missing. That's because this runs on a 32k Model B and there just wasn't room for that gigantic sprite or the code to do the docking. So instead I've replaced all of the meteors with fireballs so that you refuel by shooting the fireballs. This adds an extra level of balancing refueling to laser temperature. original seven sectors from the arcade game plus the eighth sector that you can't get to on the arcade game. You might have noticed that the aliens don't drop at you in this formation like they would in the arcade game. This is because there just wasn't enough room with all the sectors, all of the aliens, all of their animation and more than half the memory being used for the screen. Laser temperature critical. Laser temperature critical. notice as it changes alien waves that the shadow colour on the sh your ship changes colour. This is because it uses the darkest colour used in the aliens, because in this mode there's only four colours available and one of them is black. queues up the phrases, but if it's got a duplicate of the one that it's about to play, then it won't add it as another one. Also, if it gets too far behind on the countdown for warp, it'll skip some numbers to catch up. Laser temperature critical. Laser temperature critical. Laser temperature critical. Laser temperature critical. Because all of the aliens stay in formation and play the same frame of animation, 
I can load the accumulator once and then store, store, store in an unrolled loop for all of the aliens. Makes them nearly twice as fast to draw. Because the aliens don't move out of their original characters, I don't need to clear them either. takes up about 6k and requires sideways RAM on the BBC Micro. To encode it I needed to find an old Qbox Pro program that only runs on Windows XP and earlier. There are actually two lots of 16 aliens, so when there's 32 the same, I just make them the same, and if they're double height then I draw the top half as one alien and the bottom half as the other. Zero ships remain in play, over, over, over. 